Now, we'll break down for you the various components of a pool system, other than the pump, and look at how their adjustment and selection can affect swimming pool pump energy efficiency. We'll look at pool circulation and auxiliary hydraulic system components, sweeps or cleaners, and heating options. As far as pipes are concerned, it's usually not practical to replace underground pipes or fittings to achieve a more efficient pool system. But if possible, you'll want a minimum of 2 inch PVC pipe, 2.5 inches is even better, and sweep elbows above ground. 1.5 inch or smaller plumbing is very restrictive of water flow and requires more energy from the pool pump. Skimmers are used in pools to skim debris, such as leaves and other floating material from the surface of the pool's water. They consist of an opening in the side of the pool at water level, a weir gate or floating barrier that makes it possible for debris to flow over it from the pool into the opening, but not back into the pool, and a removable basket or leaf trap to prevent large debris, such as leaves, from getting into the plumbing and pump. In reality, most skimmers can be fairly ineffective, especially if the prevailing wind is blowing surface debris into a corner opposite from where the skimmers are located. And often the weir gate is damaged or missing, which also reduces skimming effectiveness. However, there are low-flow weir gates and entire skimmer assemblies with better skimming performance, which should be considered if possible. Because retrofitting a skimmer is not typically feasible, since it is below ground level, there are a few things you can do to enhance skimming operation. Ensure the skimmer has a weir door that is working and unobstructed. Make sure the skimmer basket is intact and that is cleaned regularly. Ensure the float valve beneath the skimmer basket is intact. Plastic components may break and there is an O-ring that can wear out. The term main drain is not really accurate since main drains are generally not capable of truly draining pools. They do serve to collect some water from the bottom of the pool to supply the filtration pump suction and thereby improve water circulation, chemical distribution, and temperature equalization. However, this benefit is so minimal that some builders do not even include main drains in their pools. And when they do, they often connect them to the pool's skimmers instead of a direct run back to the filtration pump. In such cases, there's a float valve that sends water back to the pump from the main drain, the skimmer, or both. For the best skimming action, you'll want to set the valve to pull most of the water from the skimmer. Note that each pool's skimming needs are different, and allowing a mix of water from both the skimmer and the main drain will allow a good mix of water to reach the filtration system and help with water circulation. Valves or fittings are available in full bore where the actual diameter of the opening is the full pipe interior diameter, or the less expensive reduced bore, where the flow area is smaller than the pipe size. Only full bore valves and fittings should be used for best efficiency, since we don't want to create unnecessary resistance. Note that the California Energy Commission's Title 24 Building Efficiency Regulations for New Construction specify the use of sweep elbows as opposed to sharp radius elbows to reduce friction, resistance to the flow of water, and noise. And while these regulations are generally not applicable to pool retrofits, they are always a good guide to best practices. One specific valve that can add resistance to the flow of water through a pool system is a backwash valve which is required for cleaning pool filters that use sand or diatomaceous earth, or DE, to filter the water. A backwash valve can significantly restrict the flow of water, 
often the same as or even exceeding the resistance of the pool filter itself. Manufacturers offer full bore, high flow, low TDH or total dynamic head backwash valves that offer lower resistance and greater efficiency. You'll want to use this type of backwash valve for replacement and in new pool construction if using a sand or DE filter. Speaking of filters, the most energy efficient type is the cartridge filter since it offers lower resistance to the flow of water than sand and DE filters and does not require a backwash valve, which, as we just mentioned, can further reduce the pool's hydraulic system efficiency. But in any case, it's always best to have a larger filter for maximum pumping energy efficiency. Smaller filters operating at or close to their maximum flow ratings offer substantially higher resistance than larger or oversized filters. And, as you can imagine, dirty, clogged filters restrict the flow of water even more. Manufacturers generally recommend cleaning their filters when the normal operating pressure doubles. But to operate most efficiently, filters should be cleaned when their operating pressure reaches one and a half times the normal or clean filter level. The longer you wait, the more resistance builds, decreasing the overall energy efficiency of your pool pump. Take a minute to answer a few questions and check your understanding of key points, then join us for the next section of this module, which explores how to maximize the energy efficiency of pool sweeps and in-ground pool cleaners.